this is the Arcteryx Valence casing build hole. Now Valence is Arcteryx's premium brand, designed to bring their technical outdoor clothing expertise um, to an urban city style. Now this wallet retails for 250 US dollars and it's one of the three leather accessories by Valence. They also make a passport holder as well as a uh, billfold that's a little taller to fit different currencies. Now the wallet's made of full grain leather, so the, the, one of the higher quality leathers that you can get. And it's made by the Horween Leather Company. I think that's from the, they're from the States. And the wallet itself, um, it's very minimal. Pretty much there's, there's no logos at all. Now the only logo you'll see is right here at um, etched at the bottom, uh, laser etch I think, it'll say Arcteryx Valence. And it's very discreet and you wouldn't notice the logo at all anyways unless you're really looking for it. I've used this wallet for almost a year now and it has aged quite well even though it's only been a year. One of the things I always look for in the leather wallet is whether it develops lots of creases and here, where the wallet closes, you'll see that there is some slight creasing, but when the wallet is closed, it's perfectly smooth, and it looks absolutely great when the wallet is closed. Now the wallet itself, um, it's extremely thin. Um, right, what I have here are a few Canadian dollar bills, as well um, on the left and right, are the card holders. So from what I understand this wallet's meant to hold um, eight cards so four on the left and four on the right here but what I found with having eight cards there is that the wallet feels a bit tight and it feels like it's expanding the leather maybe a little bit too much. So what, I, what I've been doing is putting three cards on each side of the wallet. So the quick access cards, the credit cards I use the most, I put them on the top layer so that it's easy to just slide out. Um, I won't take the cards out because there is uh, personal information on the cards, but um, here, here is the slot and then the cards just come, come right out like this. Now, what I put, um, so there's a stack of three on the left and a stack of three um, on the other side and I put my least used cards for example my driver's license my debit card in the middle of the stack because um, that's the hardest card to get from the pot the cards at the top of the stack and at the bottom of the stack are quite easy to get once you develop that muscle memory you'll know exactly which card you're pulling out but the ones in the middle um, are the ones I don't use uh, that often it's just my driver's license and I keep them in the middle there what I found also is if I keep the side with the numbers facing the leather, it'll sort of imprint the numbers onto the leather. So what I've done is the side with the numbers, I place them face down, so facing into the wallet so that the numbers don't get um, uh, grooved into the leather into the leather surfaces. Now what makes this leather, uh, this wallet so special is that there's no stitching involved. Everything is glued together to ensure that it's as thin as possible. Now I do have another wallet that I used to use, but um, I unfortunately damaged while I was out at the gym and I had this in my pocket and the sweat um, created a big stain. So this is the Bellroy note sleeve. So it's another very popular minimalist wallet um, in the community, minimalist community. And it's, it's, a, it's been a great wallet, unfortunately it got that um, stain damage. So here's a size comparison. So the wallet itself, the Valence wallet, is even smaller than the Bellroy note sleeve. And you don't really notice it day to day, but once you try some other wallets, um, you really feel that they're much bigger and you really come to appreciate the size of this minimalist wallet.
So on the first, when it first get, comes um, delivered, uh, it comes in very sleek packaging, um, with Dark Valence packaging, and the wallet comes flat, uh, sort of like this inside. And my first few days of using it, um, the wallet would always pop open um, because it was still getting into shape, but after a month or so, basically now when I let go, the wallet falls into quite a natural position and you don't you no longer have it just forced open like that. Now I've had this, like I said, for about a year and the condition of the leather has you know remained quite quite decent. Um, I have read some reviews online where uh, some people's wallet um, the glued edges sort of came apart. Um, I haven't had that issue yet. Um, I've used it for about a year. I don't know if it'll come up, but Arcteryx, they have a great warranty that I'm sure will cover any damage to this wallet. Now the wallet itself, the leather, it feels extremely smooth to the touch and it has that great uh, leather smell. So personally, I wouldn't put more than three cards on each side. And usually in terms of bills, um, here I have here I have three bills. I wouldn't go more than five bills. Um, that's when it starts to get really thick. But three bills is more than enough. And another part of the thing I really like about this wallet is that the size sort of limits myself. I remember when I had my old wallet, I used to stuff receipts and different things just into the wallet, and it got thicker and thicker. But really, in terms of the design. You can't really stick um, receipts and anything, it just won't fit in here. So it sort of keeps me organized, keeps me having a, a neat wallet here. Now my favorite part of this wallet is pulling out of my pocket and fe just feeling the solid construction. And it is made in Canada and I have a f this wallet I feel is worth the investment and I'll definitely be using it for years to come. In terms of any negatives, um, I can't really think of any. I guess the price. Um, I bought this for around two hundred and thirty Canadian dollars, so it was a it was a discount off the regular price of I think three hundred and fifty Canadian. Um, I did see it at the outlet here in Vancouver for ninety nine Canadian dollars. Now that's an absolute steal for this wallet, but um, unfortunately I already bought it. And, but I do plan to use this for years to come. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.